Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Captivate 6 in PowerPoint to simply create a basic online course or online module if you will from a basic PowerPoint deck. So right now I am actually in Adobe Captivate 6 and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to under create new I'm going to select from Microsoft PowerPoint. So in this case I'm running a virtual machine so I'm just navigating to where my PowerPoint deck is located. And it prompts me up and it allows me to change a few things. I'm just going to leave all this as it is. I could also select to only include certain slides. I'm going to actually leave those. The only change I'm going to do is I'm going to select high fidelity and I'm going to keep advanced slide on click. You'll notice that you have other options if you had timing set and other things, but I'm going to click OK. And it opens PowerPoint and it starts to convert it. So you have to actually have Captivate in PowerPoint installed on the machine you are wanting to do this. You can see it's converting. In this case, this is a short um, PowerPoint. There's only 12 slides. You can imagine if you had something with 40 or 50 or even more that this process would take a little longer. Okay, took a few minutes, but you can see just like that. And if you're new to Captivate, you can see it gives a very similar feel to working in PowerPoint. So you can see the slides over here on the left under the film strip view. In this case, let's scroll all the way over. We're gonna I'm gonna actually go to view and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see everything here. All right. So now I'm not going to spend really much time here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go jump to file. And then you'll notice that you have publish, publish YouTube and then publish settings. So you can actually go through and play with the publish settings. In this case, I'm just going to click on publish. And you'll notice that you have a few options over on the left. So if you know that you're going to FTP this, you could go ahead and set up your settings that way. Right now, I'm just going to keep it with Swift slash HTML5. And under here, I'm going to select HTML5. So this way, it's going to create both versions. And you could do a few other options here, but right now, I'm just going to hit Publish. And in this case, I've done this before, so it's just saying, do I want to overwrite the file? And I do. Okay, so now it says publish complete successfully. Do I want to view it? I'm going to select yes. And now it's going to open it in Internet Explorer. And so you can see that it already starts the timing, but the way this works, and I'm just going to zoom out here. is if I click on the screen you'll notice that it just advances the slide I could also use the forward button down here and so just like that you can see that I created I basically took a PowerPoint presentation that I'd created and in this case I'd created it to specifically be used in a program like Captivate so I added more text than I might otherwise in this case I didn't narrate or do anything else to it I simply published it right from Captivate and keep in mind, Captivate can do so much more. This is really just the very basics of if you had a slide presentation or a lecture or something like that and you wanted to simply create um, a Swift file or a Flash movie or, or basically an HTML file that you could either put in an LMS, put in your blog, share other ways, Captivate's a great tool to do that. In some other videos, I'll go more in depth on what are ways that you could use navigation and other interactions and do much, much more with Adobe Captivate. But hopefully you see how easy it is to import a PowerPoint slide deck and publish it. Thanks.